It's, uh, it's an exciting day, isn't it? And it's a momentous day, but n not just for Eurostar, I think. I, I think in terms of the history of, of, of high-speed rail travel across, across Europe, it's, no, it's a great day. And, um, yeah, it takes some time in terms of you know, train homologation and, and training, training drivers and uh, safety certification. But, no, we're here, um, and I think the customer will be screaming out their delight on, on the back of that as well. Um, I would have liked that direct return service on, on, on day one. We have everything in place, you know, we're providing a service which, which we think our, our, our customers will, will love. The British government is, is comfortable with it, with a bilateral agreement, so we just need the, the Dutch government now to, to respond to that. We have commitments from both the British and the Dutch governments, and it's a case of just accelerating that now, and so that the, the principle has been agreed. We need to accelerate it and introduce it for the benefit, not of Eurostar, but for the benefit of, of the Dutch and, 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 and the British customer as well. We'll respond to the marketplace, um, and if, if, if the Dutch and British consumers say that you know they, they need more services on uh, on Rotterdam and, and, and on Amsterdam, London, then we, we, we'll, we'll, res we'll respond to that. It's interesting if you look at this, the size of the market today; it's just under five million travellers in terms of, 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 of the airline market. Very, very similar size to the the, the Paris market when when we launched, and what we've seen in Paris is a is a doubling of of that market. Um, and a lot of the airlines have retained their, their, the, the original scale of their, their, their business. It's, so it's market growth that, that's come rather than us taking share from, from, from the airlines. But I, th I think customers will see as a, as a, you know, a hugely attractive alternative, both in terms of you know, city centre to city centre, the journey time. Rotterdam is three hours you know, to door, door to door. Uh, Amsterdam, three hours, 41. The onboard experience, talk, talking to customers to today, you know, they love it, you know, either leisure or, or, or the business traveller. Um, I think there's a sense of spaciousness, it, it seems to be more, more of, a, of a social environment as, as, as well. No, I'm, I'm absolutely convinced that, that you know, we will be successful you know, regardless of, of some pretty strong uh, competitors with, with the airlines. You know, it's akin to the, the, the Paris market where, where we see you know, we're an attractive alternative, you know, a business premier product that the, the, the business traveller you know, with, with 10 minutes through, through, through the terminal. Um, and, and a comfortable onboard experience and, and some, some, some great food. Business traveller loves it on the one hand, but, you know, but also someone who wants to, to book a city break you know, three months from, from, from now and is looking for an attractive price, you know, they'll see that as... as, as, as we are undoubtedly um, an attractive alternative and I think what we saw in, in Paris we will see on Amsterdam and, and, and let's not forget Rotterdam as well. You have the train in the back? Just about. Okay. You can see it. Yeah. We, we, we've got to compete with, uh, with the low-cost carriers and, and clearly an entry price is, is an important part of, of, of doing that successfully. And on the back of that we will put on more services.